Hey class, Mr. Moidid here with a quick example on how to determine angle measures in right triangles by utilizing inverse trigonometry. So uh, the unspoken question here, but the one that would be asked, is find the missing indicated angle uh, of this right triangle. And really, frankly, we can find the other angle as well once we have uh, one of them. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Um, from the perspective of this angle of reference, so I'm looking for it, so I may as well use it as my point of reference, uh, you'll notice I'm actually, uh, you have all my side lengths here. I have the opposite, which is 15, I have the adjacent, which is 8, and I have the hypotenuse, which is 17. So I'm going to label those just for clarity's sake. There's my opposite, my adjacent, again, relative to this angle is 8, and my hypotenuse is 17. So uh, really, I can pick any combination that I wish, whether it's sine, cosine, or tangent, because whether I look at opposite hypotenuse, I got both of those. If I look at adjacent hypotenuse, I've got both of those. And if I look at opposite adjacent, I have both of those as well. So I'm going to use the tan ratio, uh, no particular reason. So tangent of this angle, which I don't know, so I'm going to call it theta, is equal to, well, opposite over adjacent, so uh, TOA. So opposite over adjacent would be 15 over 8. Okay. Uh, I could get that as a decimal uh, if you're more comfortable with that. Uh, but I actually keep it as a fraction, but just so you have an idea of what that would be approximately. 15.8 is exactly actually 1.875. And I'll leave it as a decimal, uh, sorry, as a fraction though. So if you recall, uh, what this is actually doing when you type in a number um, for, for you know, tangent or sine or cosine, the calculator is essentially looking up a value in a predetermined table, uh, more or less. So, for example, I could just try some numbers here. To me, that looks like maybe a, um, I don't know, 35, 40 degree angle. So, I'm going to try tan of 40 and see how that compares to 1.75. Not very good. So, I'm going to try tan of maybe 50. Well, that's over one of these, so I'm getting better. So, you know, I could try this, but it's not a very exact approach. So, instead, I'm going to ask the calculator to say, hey, what input should I put in here in order to give me 1.875 or 15.8 as my answer. So, uh, in other words, we need to inverse this operation. So, uh, a handy way to do that is to recognize that if I invert my input and output, which essentially is what I'm doing in the calculator to get the answer, that means that theta will be now over here. 15.8 will now be my input as opposed to my output. And rather than using tangent, I'm going to use something called inverse tangent. So effectively, I have inverted my problem. If the line above here is all true, then so is this line here, because I've inverted everything in a sort of a symmetric uh, procedure here. So tangent, uh, inverse tangent, rather, of 15 eighths is something I can quickly calculate. Uh, you also sometimes see this, uh, just so you are aware of it, as arc tangent. So you can also see it as arc tangent 15 eighths. Same thing, just so you're aware of that. So I'll put that in a little cloud here. Uh, same thing. So inverse tangent, well, if you recall, the inverse tangent button is simply seconds and then tangent. You see the yellow there. Inverse tangent of 15 eighths. So this is asking, hey, can you find for me what uh, row or what degree measure, and if you think about it in terms of a table, has 15 eighths as its tangent? Well, my friend, that would be a 61.9 degree angle. So the output here in the calculator gave us 61 Point nine degrees, and as expected, that's an angle measure, and so is theta. And there you go. That angle was 61.9 degrees. Which means I can go one step further and say, okay, I can go ahead and find this while I'm at it, and it's called solving the right triangle, finding all the missing values. We already have all the sides, we have one of the angles, now we have another one. So recall that these two angles here are complementary, because with this they make must make 180, and this is already 90, so these must make 90 together, thus 90 minus 61.9 would give me 28.1. Now, again, I chose tangent uh, just because I like it, but um, frankly, you could use sine or cosine or, uh, you know, with this tangent, and you still get the exact same answer. All right, hope this helps.